How much is land worth per acre in Wake County? It is, it is all over the place right now. I mean, um, you might be able to find some land in Wake County as cheap as, as 15 or 20,000 an acre and, and it could be it could be a million or even a couple million dollars per acre depending on where it is. But uh, one of the ways that we look at um, to evaluate land uh, in Wake County or any other area is to work backwards. And so if somebody were to have um, 20 acres in Wake County and it had access to water and sewer, we could put, let's just say for the sake of argument, we could put 100 lots on that. We would look at what a raw, um, we would look at what a finished lot would be in the retail market right now and we would work backwards. And so, again, just to use the roundest of numbers, let's just say um, a quarter acre lot or a fifth of an acre lot right now is $45,000. Well, the easiest, simplest way is to divide that number by three and we would be able to determine uh, raw land cost would be um, 15,000. Um, a third, a third, a third. So you have uh, a third for the raw land, you have a third horizontal infrastructure for all the improvements that you're making, bringing in the water and sewer, getting the subdivision approved, bringing in the roads, attorney's fees, surveying fees, all, all, all this, that's the horizontal infrastructure. And then, you know, the developer would like to make some profit. And so that's what that third third is. So working backwards, if we can get $45,000 per acre, and that's even further divided if we can get four or five lots in there. If we can work backwards, we can determine what the raw land value is. Um, every property is different. One of the things, you know, when you hire an accredited land consultant, um, I have very good relationships with uh, town planners of really all of the major municipalities around. You go in, you say, uh, you don't ever want to go looking for a fight. You say, what what can we do with this property? You go to Apex, it's very simple. They have a master plan and they're like, your property isn't here, this is what you can do with it. Real, real easy. You go into Morrisville, Morrisville's a little bit tighter right now. You know, they have some, they say, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> and, and there's a little bit of back and forth or whatever, so it's a little bit more difficult. Um, what about Apex and Raleigh? Apex has sure, that sure. Apex has that master plan. Raleigh's pretty good. Okay. I mean, you know. How about Holly Springs? Holly Springs has changed. Holly Springs, ten years ago, you walked into Holly Springs and said, I have this piece of land, what can I do with it? And they'd be like, What do you want to do with it? I mean, it was like the most wide open thing. Obviously Holly Springs had explosive growth. And some people criticize it that it was unmanaged growth. Uh, I feel as though they have um, uh, good planning now and um, uh, are really focused on some current issues. So uh, Holly Springs is still a good municipality to work with. They're cooperative, but of course they've gotten a little bit strict. Outside of Wake County, if we go to Orange County, Chapel Hill and Carborough, they're good people. They're not bad people. And I have to say that because I'm on camera. But they have a lot of rules. They have environmental rules. They have erosion control rules. They have vegetation rules. They have historical district rules. I mean, Chapel Hill and Carbro is tough, toughest of the tough. Uh, but you know, um, uh, I think I think these people get a bad rap. It's like they don't want any growth. They don't want any development. That's not the case at all. They just have specific rules.